All right, guys, good day. It's Shane Head for Pop, RV, Pop RVs. Today is Tuesday, October the 26th, 2021, coming to you from just outside of Bloomberg, Texas. Right on the Texas-Arkansas line, we've got a really nice find for you today. What you see before you is a 2014 Sandpiper Model 355RE by Forest River. And when you consider that it's a 2014 model, it's really pretty impressive. One of the things I always like to look at, if you've watched any of my videos and any of our other listings, I always like to get up close and personal to the, to the rubber seals and gaskets that go around the slide outs to see if any of them are torn, if they've gotten dry or brittle. These are still extremely pliable. They look really good. No visible tears or rips anywhere I can see here on the side. As we look underneath the large slide out, everything, the gear looks good. The bottom floor, which sometimes is a place to really look for concerns, is good. Underneath, you do have the sealed underbelly for Four Seasons protection. On the rear, you've got a, a steel-mounted bumper. There is a bike rack that will be included with this. That's what that mount on that rear bumper is for. Of course, you've got your aluminum access ladder, roof access ladder. And we'll get to the other side with the rest of the slide outs momentarily. Guys, the Sandpiper is one of the nicer lines available from Forest River. And again, I said this was the 355 RE package. Aluminum structure, vacuum, vacuum bonded, so you don't have the delamination problems as they get older. Uh, and there certainly is no signs of any delamination that I see here. Go ahead and show you a couple of nice features here too. Of course, you've got your spray port, exterior 110 outlets. You've got dual access points on this side for your large pass-through storage. Hopefully that's showing up okay in this bright sunlight. You've got your park inlets for satellite or cable. 110 outlets here. And then your larger entry point for your pass-through storage. Goes all the way to the other side. You got your manual controls for your awning should you need that. Access to your propane tanks. You've got two 30 pound bottles, so 60 pounds of propane availability. One on the passenger, one on the driver's side. As we move towards the front, I always like to look at the front cap on older RVs. And I don't notice any real fading. The decals are still in pretty good shape. I don't see them peeling away anywhere. One light little scuff right here from the previous owner. It's not dented, it's not punctured. Probably with some solvent, most of that would rub away. Your fifth wheel hookup, of course, is typical with most or fifth wheels. You've got your large front compartment, gives you access to your house battery, your hydraulic system. If you wanted to add a generator, this would be where you would install it. Spare tire package. That's a nice feature that I really like about this camper. Underneath the fifth wheel, underneath the bedroom, you have the aluminum uh, diamond plate black so uh, a little more durability for that part of the camper we're looking under the bedroom slide here looks really good get back away so you can see all the slide outs here on the driver's side rather so you've got five slide outs one on the on the passenger side four on the driver's side going from my left to right on the camera you've got your master bedroom slide that second slide, believe it or not, is a bathroom slide. The, you're gonna be really impressed when you get inside. The master bathroom is huge, and this slide out really provides a lot of space in there. Your kitchen slide out, and then at the rear, your other opposing slide for your living room. Of course, this is kind of what I call the business side of the, of the RV. You've got access to your other pass-through storage, as well as all of your city water hookups, your fresh tank fills, wash down shower, water filter, your bypass for your hot water heater, your inlets for your satellite front and rear. Again, that large pass-through storage. Again, underneath looks really good there as well. Of course, you've got your black water, gray water hookup drains over here. Tires look really good. I'll try to update the date codes on the tires. Uh, but those, if you look into the ad, that will have pictures of that there. There again is your kitchen slide out. 
and then your opposing slide out again for your uh, living room. Hot water heater access for service points. Your 50 amp service inlet here on the rear of the coach. As with most coaches, if you have a 30 amp coming in, you'll only be able to run one AC unit. With 50 amp, you can run both. Now guys, if you're looking to get into a fifth wheel at a bargain price point, this really represents a good value. Uh, not a lot of great floor plans out there that are in good shape, available under 40,000, and this certainly fits that description as far as being priced below 40. So we're gonna go ahead and hit the interior. I'm gonna switch over to a wider angle view for you. Of course, you've got your swing away access, entry assist handle, programmable lock on the door, as well as two keyed locks screen door they've went ahead and added plexiglass instead of screen down instead of a screen down below as you come in get in here and get this door closed so the sunlight doesn't impede on our natural lighting from inside a really nice environment a good place to be very comfortable very livable custom touches everywhere corian countertops bronze finished residential style kitchen faucet with a detachable kitchen faucet head soap dispenser beautiful built-ins real wood cabinetry tinted glass beveled glass for your uh for your overhead pantry you got a large pantry below there of course your kitchen includes your three burner cooktop as well as an oven and a microwave vent hood really nice uh, backsplash You've got a Dometic RV refrigerator freezer, a nice return for extra countertop space, more pantry space, a lot of nice touches inside. You've got the residential style drop down lighting. You've got your max vent fans, your ceiling fans. And by the way, this is a fully ducted heating and cooling system. Instead of a dinette booth, you have the dinette table with four dinette chairs, carpet in that area, meets the vinyl tile style floor. <clears throat> in the living room, you've got a fold out sofa, as well as the stadium style seating with recliners and center console, built in fireplace, built in TV with a slide up and down, power slide up and down for the cabinet so you can hide the TV when traveling. Lots of nice overhead storage. So we peer back here and look across from the living room looking forward. <clears throat> Just a really good floor plan if you're needing to live full time. There's lots of comfort and space in here. I would call that a cook's kitchen. You've got with this extra return over here, you've got lots of, lots of countertop space. Nice wood treatments everywhere. Nicely tucked away inside the smoked glass is your control center where your tank monitors are, your water heater switches, your ceiling fans, your awning controls, your porch lights, all that neatly tucked away. You've got a nice recessed area for storage here. As we move into the stairwell going back to the front, you've got your electrical panel as well as your main thermostat. Got the door open to the master bathroom or the only bathroom. And again, guys, as mentioned earlier, this has a slide out. So I, I don't know that I've ever seen a fifth wheel with a restroom or a bathroom this large. With that slide out, you've got a huge bathroom countertop with double sinks. Those are porcelain sinks, by the way, not plastic. Porcelain sinks, dual outlets, recessed shelves, flush flush mount lighting, a chair height head that's also porcelain, your max vent, a corner mounted shower that's got a nice wide berth, really pretty dark enclosure with a detachable shower head and a recessed skylight for more height. The bathroom of course has your main entry door out of the hallway and then another door that you can go in and out of the bedroom. We'll kind of come back around here as we enter the master bedroom. Of course, the master bedroom has a privacy door with frosted glass in the middle. Bedroom's really nicely appointed. Now, folks, what you're seeing in here is a queen-size bed. However, this will facilitate a king-size bed, and the sellers will be putting a brand-new king-size mattress 
to go with this camper. As I'm looking at the ceiling, I don't see any signs of any water intrusion. It doesn't appear that there's ever been any leaks that I can see. No physical evidence of that. Nice built-in dresser. The, <clears throat> the sellers added this larger flat screen TV that did not originally come with the camper. So that will stay with it. <clears throat> Barn style sliding doors on the closet. I've got them pushed to the left so we can really see in here well. Lots of room, long hanging rod. And again, as I mentioned, a good option for full-time living. You do have your washer and dryer pre-plumbed and pre-wired here. So that's available to you. The other thing that I would mention as well is that the seller has a extended warranty that's on this camper that is available to be transferred. The seller is willing to pay the transfer fee as of today being October 26. There's about 23 months left on that extended service agreement. So you can buy a used camper with warranty still on it. Now that warranty won't be provided through POP. It'll be something that'll be done from the seller that'll provide the paperwork for you after the sale. So there it is, guys, a 2014 Sandpiper from Forest River, model 355RE, a 40-foot fifth-wheel travel trailer, ready to go, lots of livability, fantastic space, premium appointments throughout the camper. Call the number below on your screen for more questions if you want to make an offer. Again, you can call me directly, Shane Head, at 2903-293-3851. Thanks again for watching.